Well, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. We are at the beach. There are two places that we can go. One is the forest here. Dude, where are you going? Never play alone at the beach, uh, which we can't currently go to. But over here, we have uh, the Carrillo Summer Home. You're leaving already? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you suck. Well, I'm gonna stay a little longer. Later, man. We've already talked to everybody, so. Meanwhile, at the entrance to the Carrillo Mansion. It's been a while. Oh, he doesn't say much, huh? I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Carrillo family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. Yeah, I'll pass. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Ooh, we're gonna learn more truth. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? Yeah. For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? I'm also confused. We'll get there. The Kurijo Family Yakushima Mansion Reception Room. Everyone has gathered after a sudden invitation from Mitsuru's father. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Didn't we... Oh, I guess we're just a source of power, I think is what we had already discussed. Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. What? This guy's voice is creepy, that's all I have to say. Damn, that's insane. Also, However, weird. under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. Why was he feeling so nihilistic? It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. I have questions. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh. Old footage is being played on the large monitor in the room. I think- What's this? I think we are like on the monitor camera wise. This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? It looks like the scene of an accident. The vault video quality is poor, making the shown man's face unrecognizable. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Oh, gosh. Huh? <gasps> it was a very loud explosion. The man was visible on the screen for a brief moment, but the video ended after a large explosion. You mean... 
That was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... my dad caused it all? Hmm. The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? I don't think she is, Hakikiko. So that's why you were hiding this? I don't think Mitsuru even knew. Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Like, Mitsuru didn't have any clue what was going on here. Hikari ran off. Because, <clears throat> because of course, they have to have a misunderstanding here. But it was obvious Mitsuru was just like, wait, I've never seen this before. I had no idea what's going on. Takiba! Uh. Um... Shouldn't someone go after her? You do it. <sighs> Shiomi, which is me. Please, go after her. Ah, fine. Alright, understood. Thank you. You decided to head after Yukari. I would have left her alone, but I think she runs out into the wilderness, so... I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. You found Yukari standing at the beach. Tone. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Hmm, that must have been tough. Yeah, but all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. It really wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Hmm. But that's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? I think everybody got really screwed in this situation because Mitsuru's grandfather was the one that went like crazy, so. Um. Don't blame yourself. <sighs> Stop acting like you have all the answers. Rude. Also, I don't. <sighs> I'm sorry. I think she says that pretty much whatever. My head's a mess. Yeah. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? Um, I think you need to t believe in your dad here. You mean... Keep believing? Uh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. And I have a small child living inside me. I mean, uh... But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Nkari is laughing, her eyes red from the crying. Hey! What's up, Junpei? <sighs> Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost... The dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. Yes. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, 
you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. Hmm. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. Hmm. You feel as if you're being watched. Hmm. Regardless, you decided to return. That's not creepy. Uh. Your second morning at Yakushima. You're going with the other girls to see a large cryptomeria tree, considering considered a world heritage site. <sighs> the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> oh, so listen to this. Oh, here goes Fuka. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor Fuka. She's trying her best. Mitsuru received an incoming call on her phone. Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. Excuse me, what? A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. Excuse me, what? A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. Great. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Akutsuki ended the call. Man, this guy's great. great. No one's answering. Where are the boys? Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Meanwhile, on Yakushima Beach, Junpei and Akihiko are there. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? Uh, You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Thank you, Akihiko. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! The letter Akihiko was holding is now in Junpei's hands. Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. It wasn't for you. Oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman Cedar Tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Uh, tree? That's just not right. Big tree. Well, it is your fault. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. I'm still... Now I'm really confused. We'll call this Operation Babe Because it's Hunt. not a Persona game without Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? <laughs> Even Akihiko's like, what? You mean like... Pick up girls? What girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? What? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? <laughs> the loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Well, loser? What do you mean, loser? <laughs> Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? Uh, yeah? Uh, hi there, miss. Uh, wanna hang out? What, what is this voice? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Uh, hey there. Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... 
I see. <clears throat> and need someone to rub sunblock on your hard to reach areas? Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. Excuse me, what? Huh? Uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. Mm. All right, Junpei. What's going on here? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't going to help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> What's up? You see something? Hmm, we've got a FMV? Sort of? We've got an image. Whoa! Talk about saving the best for last! Now that's what I'm talking about! Man, she's cute! I agree. C what? This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey! Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I I just want to talk. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh yeah? <laughs> you are not the one. <laughs> wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, senpai. Huh. Don't worry about me. Well, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? She's speaking like, like, like worse than Alexa. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <laughs> huh? She looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Mm. Uh, she took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Nope, she's looking for a human. Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? No. Why? You think there might be bears or something? Bears? I... I don't know about that, but... We should go after her. Bears? On an island? Wait, are there bears on islands? Hey, look, it's the tree. Jomon Sugi Forest. I'm not Su Suji. I'm not sure if I'm even remotely close on that one. He became separated from Yukari and the others. Huh? He sends a strong gaze more palpably than before. Ah, it's a girl. She must be the one who's been watching you. Um, hello. I was correct. I have found you. Creepy. What? She suddenly embraced you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. It doesn't seem like she wants to let go. <laughs> there she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Chupi and Akihiko have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. I see. So that's her preference. <laughs> well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. There you are. Junpei, what are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? Why am I being embraced? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Why is she hugging you? I don't know. She says I'm her priority. What? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. 
That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Even Akutsuki has arrived. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. The girl answered while still hugging you. <laughs> well. The Kurijo family Yakushima Mansion reception room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Cap tank captured me. Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is Igis. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. <laughs> Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes. I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. There's a reason. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! <laughs> um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Yes, it is very important for me to be by her side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. No. Hmm. He knows something. Just FYI. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Day three of your vacation on Yakushima. You came to the beach with everyone, including Igis. Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? Same question. We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly! Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Junpei ran to the water's edge, dragging I guess along. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for I guess to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. I don't like the way this conversation is going. Only Igus returned. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? <laughs> Despite her words earlier, Yukari is having fun in the water with Igus. We should join them. Okay. Fuka and Mitsuru also joined in. Ikutsuki arrived. Are you enjoying yourself? I don't know, man. We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Tony Tan. 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 Really, Tan? Hey, Akihiko Senpai! This again? I guess we should go too. I guess, wait! 
That's not what water gun means! Well, he's dead. Junpei Kun is down! <laughs> All right, here's our chance for an all out attack! Uh, attack. Whoa, 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 time out! I seriously can't take much more of this! You had a fun time with your friends at Yakushima. With Igus joining, things are likely to get livelier. Okay, so we got level five of C's, which is the fool's, um, the fool arcana. For the record, uh, I just double checked. Uh, Tan is the um, is another kind of pronunciation of Chan in this case, which is interesting. Uh, okay, and also, if you receive a blow that would kill you, uh, the ally, an ally will now take a hit for you during battle, so you can actually survive, which is really good because there are some times where you could definitely go down, and I've definitely had it happen in the past. Yakushima, vacation has ended. You return to the dormitory. Not recently, but not in this playthrough, but it's definitely happened in other playthroughs. Oh god, here we are. Late night at the Tatsumi Poor Island back alley. The punks at the hangout are whooping it up as usual. Is that a term? Shinjiro is sitting by himself away from the group. <sighs> you right there, buddy? Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. You seem to be in great pain. Same. Wait, now what? You guys. Ah, shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go. The punks left the hangout. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> the smart looking guy handed Shinjiro something. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. I don't know the details, but supposedly if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it the Dark Hour. You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have- Oh great, now we've made some enemies. What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Takaya, hey, yes. we have a name. Yes. The three left. <sighs> I can't go back. Not after what happened. Man, I'm beat. It seemed to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you all you want. Wow, you must be really bored. Shut up, Yucatan. Whatever. We just have to defeat those last six and it will be all over. The loss will get better and everything will be back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. These are your lodging quarters? Very well, I shall be by your side at all times. She is still far from passing as human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings in conversation at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. A lot of people are joining the team now. It's so much different than before. Everyone seems so tired. Maybe we should just skip going to Tartarus tonight and just rest. Oh, I just wanted to talk to you. Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon. That will be the most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are worthless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, this is one souvenir from Yakushima that is Trespian. Hmm, is there something you'd like to know about Igus? Uh, where are the others? 
I assume you're referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. While there were many created, you could say there were Igus's sisters. However, they were all destroyed 10 years ago in the incident. Igus has been quite lonely since then. Uh, why is she in human form? Personas are created from human minds. So the plan was to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form the weapon would take. If the form of the weapon was a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind would recognize itself as a tank. However, a tank is not a living entity. This is crucial, you see, because the mind of a non-living entity will not process human thoughts correctly. So it will not function properly and it will soon become corrupted. However, a mind placed inside a form that closely resembles a human body will recognize itself as a human being, thus allowing it to easily adapt to human thoughts. Therefore, Igus and her sisters were built in the form of human beings. Uh, let's get back. Let's put a pin in that one and come back to it. How come she knows me? I do not know. Perhaps it is simply a glitch in her human recognizing recognition programming. Regardless, it is nothing to concern yourself with. Right? Uh-huh. No, I don't have any other questions. You turned on the television. Today's exchange rate. There are now 115.12 yen to the dollar and an increase from last time of 0.15 yen. Do you think anyone will be able to tell that she's a robot? I don't. I mean, you really have to be looking for a robot to figure that out. As long as she acts normal, no one will suspect a thing. She's cute, eh? Super cute. I don't think I've ever met a machine that was so cute before. I don't know what to do with that, to be honest. All right, where are we here? Um, we're gonna head over to, uh, or out. We're gonna head out to town map and um, to Polonia Mall, but I need to do some um, persona switching. Oh, you already have information, Never mind. Okay, so got the persona I needed. We're gonna hang out with President Tanaka today. Um, and I do have uh, Lilium here, so let's go. Or Lilium, let's talk to him. My, you're enthusiastic. No, not really. Um, today we'll talk about, oh dear me, I, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. Uh, did something happen? He did it, he betrayed me. I won't sleep a wink tonight. President Tanaka seems upset. There was a young man who was working for me. He was a good kid who graduated from a well-known university. But this month, he wasn't able to meet his sales quota, so I docked his pay. After that, his self-confidence went down the drain. Then he just stopped coming to work. Well, what's he doing now? He probably locked himself inside his room. I don't care. President Tanaka seems unconcerned. I just mailed him a dismissal notice. It's cash on delivery. Is that, that is what COD means, right? It's his fault that the company is in the red this month. All that money I wasted on training him. It makes me sick just thinking about it. Ugh. Hmm, how much is it total to? Well, he only worked for me for two years, so at least I won't have to provide a pension. Oh, mercy me, I better not talk about it or else I might faint. President Tanaka seems upset. It's difficult growing up with no money. When you can't even afford shoes for PE class, going barefoot in the gym during winter can be torture. I've been thinking, how would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be perfect for camouflaging the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? You won't ever have to worry about being able to afford or to buy shoes for PE. You sense that President Tanaka has strong feelings for you. I don't like the way that was phrased. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Um, I think we just got a hint there that uh, President Tanaka uh, was probably very poor growing up. So that's why he's now the way that he is. Oopsies, I better get back to work. I have to reevaluate the budget. If I decide to hire someone new, it'll cost a fortune to train them. President Tanaka left, talking to himself. I don't know what to do with any of this. Good morning. Excuse me, what? Please wake up. You've awakened safely. Mission complete. I need you to stay away from me. Um... Let's see, uh, why are you here? My highest priority is to be by your side. Hey, are you awake? Yeah. That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? I found her. She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis and I am here. Huh? I guess. How did you... She was asleep, so I unlocked the door. 
That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? No. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, well, you're both girls, so if she doesn't mind, I guess it's okay. It'll be pretty crowded in here, though. Are you okay with that? Okay, not really. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Guess that's a no. I will comply. Oh, well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor, so you can stay nearby. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. <sighs> I'm tired. Same. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Yukari shrugged and left. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. I guess nodded to herself. Exam results will be posted today. Hmm. There's a box in the room. It's the delivery you ordered from the TV show. Obtain shirt of cavalry times one and two mega po proteins. I was in mega potions. Wrong game. Hey, I was thinking. After we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Hmm. I don't know. Well, regular people don't even know about the dark hour, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. Kinda sucks, don't you think? Hey, the results are posted. You decided to go look at the exam results. You scored the highest in your class. Everyone is looking at you with respect. Your charm has greatly increased. You suddenly remember something. Mitsuru promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. You should talk to Mitsuru when she's at school. Lunchtime is almost over. You decide to go back to your classroom. All right, class has ended for today. So, um, let's see, let's talk to a few people before we move on. It seems like the average score went down this time. I guess that's not a bad thing. But to tell you the truth, I'm a little disappointed since I could have scored about 20 points higher. I'll have to study harder during vacation. Hmm, I guess I did okay again, but I better do some studying over summer vacation. Summer sucks, man. I sweat so much my shirt gets drenched. <laughs> yeah. I'm so depressed to think I won't be able to see Akihiko Senpai over the summer. I'm jealous of the people living in the dorms. So you get to see Akihiko Senpai no matter what. You, Mitsuru Senpai, Yukari san, Fuka san. I don't care who it is. Won't one of you switch places with me? I don't know. You want to fight some shadows? This will be called the pretend like I was just walking and when Mitsuru Senpai comes out, I'll get close to her strategy. That's my plan, but I'm all nervous now. I know I'm overthinking this. I don't know or care about that ghost stuff, but I wish I could ask them why they're spreading that. I mean, they're dead. They shouldn't bother living couples. The couple's only apathy syndrome that's been going around. I heard it was the work of ghosts, but we're done here. They say that a couple committed double suicide a long time ago, and now they're infecting couples with apathy syndrome. Right, we've already gone through all that. doesn't matter. Uh, nobody out here today? I'm trying to find some people to talk to before we end the episode. Anybody else in here? Did everybody leave? When I think of artists, I think of those people who squint and hold a pencil up to their subject. Artists who do that, especially the guys, just want to look the part. Um, so there actually is a reason why you would do that? So that's not true. I think that girl only ever talks about the persimmon tree, so um, don't worry too much about it. Uh, looks like no. Looks like we don't really have anybody else to talk to. We're going to hang out with Yukari ultimately, but I want to see if we can't find some new conversation. I get tired of coming up with new things to put into my son's lunch. My family always complains when I give them the same dish, so I'm always looking for something new. All right, so it looks like uh, that's a no. Look at all the lost out here. Goodness. All right. Well, that's going to be it. We finished up the Yakushima stuff. We do have... Um, oh, hey. Dude, I'm so used to her stalking me now. I don't even realize she's around anymore. He's different than I imagined. And from what I can tell, he has no personality. <laughs> the revenge request website might be real, you know. I know some guys personally who signed up. Okay, so it was their sister's cousin. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to the flower station near the train station. Or flower shop near the train station. Huh, interesting. Okay, so uh, next time we do have, like, 
I'm kind of looking at my notes here. We've got the exam results stuff that we get to turn in. It looks like we got a bunch of social link stuff. Um, we... Still scrolling through. It looks like we have some new stuff, so we're gonna be taking care of all of that. Let me take a quick look here at my status so you guys can see where I'm at. So as you can see, my charm is maxed, but my courage is not. I need to max my courage. So it's gonna be something that we're gonna be working on. I will see you all next time as we do some of that.